Yes! 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 We have finally gotten what we have asked for, Daniel Bryan. The machine has given in to the demands of Daniel Bryan. It only took all of those fans jumping into the ring to show Triple H that really is what is best for business. Daniel Bryan is going on to WrestleMania. Daniel Bryan is going to wrestle Triple H, and if he wins that match, he's going to wrestle for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship in the middle of the ring to close out the show at WrestleMania. There's no way in the world they're going to be able to take away Daniel Bryan in the last match at WrestleMania now. There's no way in the world they would make this stipulation that, you know, if just basically Daniel Bryan would beat Triple H. Basically, that is a walk-in-the-park match. It's like Daniel Bryan wrestling against Yoshitatsu. This is over. This is done with. He has finally gotten what he really, really deserves. They just found a way to patch it over. We're going to see Daniel Bryan wrestle twice on the biggest show of the year. I am marking out. I am going bananas. This is a big time thank you and shout out to uh, Mick Foley and Stone Cold Steve Austin, two guys that uh, basically stuck up for us wrestling fans. You know, just basically saying, you know, Daniel Bryan got screwed. The fans aren't going to be able to see the hottest guy in wrestling right now go for the title because they went out and they made a promise to some guy that had a failed MMA career that at one point was one of the biggest names that left wrestling. He walked out on us. And all of a sudden, you want to make like backdoor promises because he's good friends with Triple H, basically saying, you know, hey, come on in, we'll let you win the Rumble, you'll go on your main event, and you win the title. Now, uh, you know, what they do from here, I'm not 100% sure. But basically, in my mind, I'm thinking that basically they're going to give us what we want, and on the back end, they're going to break our hearts. I'm guaranteeing, I've been guaranteeing the whole time, for months, Daniel Bryan was going to go to WrestleMania, Daniel Bryan was going to wrestle Triple H, and he was going to win. He was going right, to win right there in the middle of the ring. I said that that should have been the main event all alone. But now he's got this added uh, stipulation on the back end that he gets to wrestle. I can still see WWE breaking our hearts. Just, you know, Daniel Bryan got to the point where we thought he was going to yeah, get there. And I don't know if Trips is going to be the guy who comes out there and breaks our hearts just to, uh, to get that heel heat put back on himself. And maybe they have to wrestle again in Extreme Rules. And then he can extend it a little bit longer. But uh, Batista's going to win the title. No doubt in my mind, Batista's still going to win the title. And it breaks my heart. I, I, I'm getting what I want. I get to see Daniel Bryan beat Triple H. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, that's what a lot of people wanted to do. To see a guy like Daniel Bryan step up, go against the big you know, names of WWE, and be able to stand up and, and, and show that he belongs to be there. WWE's going to... I'm talking about it like he's really going to fucking beat him. They're going to let him beat the guy. I mean, like, uh, it, it, it's it's going to happen. But Batista, I think, still has that backdoor promise that, you know, if he came back, he gave, he gave the fans what they wanted. I can't do, I can't be one of those people who said that, like, um, I didn't want Batista to come back. Because I've made videos and I've said it in videos in the past that I wanted him to come back. I just didn't want him to steal the damn title from Daniel Bryan. Um... You know, I, I'm not the biggest Batista fan, but the way that Batista left in 2010, he should have came back and given us something before his days were done. Now that we, I've seen it, i got to be one of those guys who was like, I, I wish you would have stayed home. I mean, go make your Marvel movie, uh, go promote that, and just, you know, thanks, but no thanks. It's just not what I thought it was going to be. I don't see you move the way that it used to be. Um, there's a reason why, you know, people get older, and uh, you were already old to begin with. It's been, you know, three to four years now, and... Uh, no thanks. Just move along, buddy. Daniel Bryan's our guy. You got to be looking at now SummerSlam 2014. Pre-sales tomorrow. Head on over there. Buy your tickets. Head to Los Angeles. I guarantee you. That is the show Daniel Bryan will win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Batista's going to beat him. It's going to happen. Whether Bryan beats Batista, whether Bryan beats Orton... Whether Triple H steps up and he wins the title and, and, and Bryan beats him, it's going to happen. Daniel Bryan, World Heavyweight Champion, SummerSlam. Buy your tickets now. Listen to me. It's going to happen.